San Sebastián is home to the only A-rated film festival in the whole of Spain. As such, we've come to see which films are creating the biggest buzz and also got the chance to catch up with the Israeli team behind Funeral at Noon, the film which is up for the coveted New Directors Award. Buenas noches y bienvenidos a la gala inaugural de una nueva edición del Festival Internacional de Cine de San Sebastián. Good evening and welcome to the opening gala of the 61st San Sebastián International Film Festival. The two Spanish cinema stars who were our hosts for the evening kept their word. This festival is a most welcoming one. Brave enough to walk its own path and screen an animated film to open the festival, San Sebastián is not quite at the level of Cannes or Venice, but what it does is keep the local and the international side by side, with Spanish art house and big budget Hollywood productions sharing the same screens. On the international side of things, Israel was well represented in the new director's category by Funeral at Noon and the French-Israeli collaboration Le Dune. Uh, this is a film based on a novel and it tells the story of a young housewife that doesn't find her place in the rural community that she lives in. And um, she finds her, uh, her solution in uh, a deserted uh, village around her village, which is a kind of abandoned. And uh, the thing uh, deals with, is it a fantasy or is it just, or is it life? And uh, that's where the film uh, goes through. Having two out of the 16 films nominated for this award representing Israel is a very healthy turnover, which speaks volumes about the country's focus on developing young talent and not just relying on established names. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing era now in Israel. Uh, there's like a big wave of uh, new cinema. It's more than a wave, it's a tsunami. It's amazing. We have wonderful writers and interesting directors and great actors, so you know it's happening. How have they received you here so far? What, what are the vibes you're getting from the, from the festival? Uh, we, we really like San Sebastian. Uh, we like the city, we like the sea and we like the pinchos, of course. <laughs> As for the big names, the recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award this year is Wolverine himself, Hugh Jackman. He joins a distinguished list of past winners that includes Robert De Niro, Meryl Streep and Ian McKellen. This year's festival brought no surprises in terms of sold-out shows and famous faces. However, the festival also recognised the importance of supporting new directors and ensuring the future of cinema is a bright one indeed. This is Paul Walsh for Jane One in San Sebastian.